If there's one single event that could single-handedly wipe out humans, it's that of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Yellowstone National Park is home to some of the most breathtaking views. According to the National Park Service, Yellowstone National Park is the second most visited national park in the United States, with the first being the Great Smoky Mountains. Last year, approximately 3.8 million visitors went to the park, with that number being much lower than the previous year. However, this is thought to be because of everything that's been happening recently. There's one attraction at the park though that brings in many visitors, and this is the supervolcano that lurks beneath the park. It's arguably the most famous supervolcano, and the one that's received the most media attention, and for good reason. This supervolcano has had at least three very large eruptions, being 2.1 million years ago and 640,000 years ago, while the other one happened 3 million years ago, but was said to have been not as bad as the other two. The most recent news is that yesterday a surge of magma was detected coming into the Yellowstone system, mainly at Yellowstone Lake. UNAVCO.org, who are made up of scientists, educators and professionals, released a spectrogram which showed a surge of magma. The red shows the heat of the magma, with the blue surroundings showing the cooler areas. Something interesting to note is that the researchers pointed out that the region in which the magma flow was detected was also one of the regions that was hit by various earthquakes. Back in late 2020, Yellowstone officials said that 125 earthquakes had hit the region in less than one week, with scientists further saying that these earthquakes hit a region that's already weakened by years of magmatic activity. The earthquake tore through the region in most of September, with officials saying that they recorded 125 tremors, most of which were detected southeast of West Thumb in Yellowstone National Park. This has caused some to panic though, as it's thought the supervolcano could be due for an eruption, as the last time it erupted was over 640,000 years ago. Although some joked and said that the Yellowstone supervolcano erupting could be the final boss of 2021, the reality is if this supervolcano was to erupt it would cause irreversible damage. Recently, University of Utah's Robert Smith made an interesting discovery saying that he noticed a change in the water levels at Yellowstone Lake. Whenever there's these types of changes, it's always important for further tests to be carried out. Geologist Dr. Robert Christensen then revealed the discovery during a documentary. He said the following, One of the most interesting additional pieces of data came along after the early fieldwork and the completion of the initial geologic studies. Bob Smith at the University of Utah was interested in seeing if we could look for signs of contemporary deformation in the Yellowstone caldera. He had recognised some of these indications, particularly in changes in lake levels of different parts of Yellowstone Lake, and because it's so large, he felt there were indications that the lake basin itself was being tilted. Because of this, the lake level was rising at one end of the lake and falling at the other end. End quote. Dr. Christensen explained how his colleagues made the discovery, going on to say the following. He was interested in seeing whether we could actually measure this by some direct means. So one of the things I did at the time was to get funding together to get the USGS Topography Division involved. We felt that with as much deformation as there appeared to be, that there should be measurable changes and elevations in the park. We finally got the funding together and got that survey done, and the data was provided to Bob Smith and his group, and they in turn integrated it into a series of elevation changes throughout the caldera. They demonstrated that the caldera over a 50 year period in time had come up around two thirds of a meter. Either the magma was intruding the crust or was heating the hydrothermal system, causing it to expand and elevate the crust. Something was going on. End quote. Another interesting discovery was made back in 2019, when researchers said that a 465 mile long piece of molten rock is rising directly underneath Yellowstone. Scientists had this to say, 
We are closely monitoring a 465 mile long piece of molten rock rising below the Yellowstone caldera. We have discovered that Yellowstone's magma chamber is slowly rising each year. The danger will be if the plumes start liquefying and moving up faster. Typically when these eruptions begin, they begin from a certain event, then they get larger as they move along the fracture system. The entire sequence that formed the last Yellowstone eruption may have taken as little as two weeks." End quote. Another thing to note is that it's not only Yellowstone where activity is picked up. Seismologists and volcanologists have noticed that the world's volcanic activity has dramatically increased in recent years. Volcanoes from all around the world are erupting faster and more frequently than ever. On top of this, earthquakes are also on the rise. So why is this happening? As of right now, researchers have said there isn't a concrete answer, and that more studies need to be carried out. Data has shown us that in the 20th century alone, there were over 3,500 volcanic eruptions. That works out as around 30 eruptions per year. Not only this, but earthquakes are also on the rise. In 2018 alone, there was over 14,000 earthquakes, and researchers and scientists have suggested that the world could be preparing for some kind of world-changing megatremor. If this does happen, it's said it will have the power to split up continents. As you can imagine, when this news got released, people started to ask questions. One of them being, when is Yellowstone going to erupt next? Seismologists have said if there was an eruption at Yellowstone, there would be mass destruction. They also stated that this supervolcano will erupt again. However, the likelihood of the volcano erupting anytime soon is very slim. In fact, the US Geological Survey seismologists are among those monitoring the site, and said that locals in the region would have lots of warning before anything happened. In fact, it's thought we would have over a decade's notice before the volcano erupted. Yellowstone is the volcano that everyone focuses on because it's one of the biggest, and would cause the most destruction. If it did erupt, the effects would be felt across the world. When you think of Yellowstone National Park, what usually comes to mind is incredible views. A massive supervolcano that would end civilization as we know it, and the incredible wildlife that can be found throughout the area. The fact is though, these scenic locations are actually some of the most hostile on our planet, and every year inexperienced hikers wander into these locations never to be seen again, leaving family members and officials wondering what happened to them. This isn't always the case though, and even those that have mastered the outdoors sometimes underestimate what they're getting themselves into. Officials have said a man has passed away after encountering a grizzly bear, and this happened just outside of Yellowstone National Park. The county sheriff office said that when they arrived in the scene there was a moose carcass, and they theorised that the bear may have been protecting it which caused it to attack. Charles Mock was an experienced guide, and was praised by many as being a good outdoorsman. Mr Mock had various injuries across his face and body, and was unfortunately found by a search party 50 minutes after the ordeal. After he was found, he was quickly taken to the nearby hospital. The encounter happened when Mr. Hawk was fishing close to the Madison River, with officials saying that he came prepared and was even carrying bear spray, but they were unable to verify how much of it he used. County Sheriff's Office spokesperson Christine Kuzman said the following, he lived in the Park Gateway community of West Yellowstone, and had been in the same area fishing for almost a week. End quote. It was noted that he was fishing around 40 metres from the moose carcass. Morgan Jacobson, the Montana Fish, Wildlife and Park spokesperson, said the following. He was the only one who was there, and we were never able to talk to him. Only a day later, a group of workers went out to the site to investigate what happened, and they said that a 420 pound grizzly bear tried to attack, although it was quickly taken out by one of the workers. It's reported that this is the same grizzly, and some even suggested that it may have been waiting because it knew that humans visited the area. 
the police said the following. Now is the time to remember to be conscientious in the backcountry, as the bears are coming out of hibernation and looking for food sources. Bear attacks, although scary, are very unlikely to happen. Wildlife experts have said there's around 40 bear attacks around the world every year, and most of the individuals involved in these cases survive the ordeal. Most of these encounters happen by accident, and bears will actively try to avoid humans. To put it into perspective, it's estimated that dogs take out more humans than bears do. Another thing that officials have said they need to look out for within Yellowstone is that of human behaviour. They said that in recent years people were putting themselves in harm's way, noting that one instance was when an individual tried to take a photograph of a bison, only for the animal to charge at the person and then launch them into the air. One of the most recent ones has angered many people. Three tourists have been charged and sentenced for boiling three chickens in a hot spring. Morgan Warthin, a Yellowstone spokesperson, said the following. Two Idahoans and a Utah man had two cooking pots in a remote part of the park, where they dipped a pair of whole raw chickens into one of the geyser basins. End quote. When the men stood in front of the judge, one of them said their intention was only to make dinner. As you can imagine, this didn't go down well with the judge, and all of the men who were aged in their 40s and 50s were given harsh sentences. All of them received fines that were over $1,000, they also spent a few days in jail, and have been banned from entering Yellowstone National Park. Park officials have said that this type of behaviour is not uncommon, and each year various people are jailed due to looting, and hurting the park's wildlife. Those working at the park have said they've seen people wash their clothes in the hot springs, and have even had people throw money into them, treating them as a sort of wishing well. One official said the following though, I wish people wouldn't do this, as such thoughtlessness actions can actually have long-term effects. For example, doing this can cause problems with vents. End quote. The National Park Statistics have said that this year's violations have tripled, meaning that over 120 arrests have been made, which resulted in many of these individuals being banned from the National Park. This happened back in 2020, and they said that this year has been better due to what happened, although people have still been making violations. Although trying to cook chickens in a thermal spring may not sound like a big deal, officials have said it could have been a lot worse. They said that what many people don't understand is that the crust above the water is extremely thin, and there have been accounts of people falling into hot springs. In fact, this recently happened to one woman. After the woman fell, the national park was closed to visitors, and park officials have said she was there illegally. When she fell into the hot spring, she suffered various wounds. At the time, the national park had been shut down from visitors since the 24th of March, going on to say that she shouldn't have been there. The woman in question ignored the warnings, and was found walking on the Wyoming side of the park, at the time, she had not been identified, but she could be seen taking photographs close to Old Faithful. Despite falling in and injuring herself, the woman was able to pull herself out and drive around 50 miles. She was, however, stopped by a park ranger and airlifted to a burn center in eastern Idaho. Park officials have said that even though it's bad she was injured, she may face penalties for not following the rules. They said that everyone else has been doing a good job at staying away from the National Park. Surveillance footage has also been released of an individual walking two dogs, and it's been suggested that this person then fell into a thermal spring. So what do you make of these recent announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.